The idea for Hamilton came to me totally by surprise while I was on vacation at In the Heights. I grabbed a biography off the shelf of Alexander Hamilton because I wanted a big fat book to read on vacation. And I found it deeply moving and deeply personal when I read it. It was just such a compelling ride. When you told us, well, I'm going to do a rap about Alexander Hamilton, we said, well, good luck with that, <laughs> right? Uh, and invited me to In the Heights. And I went backstage and he said, Ron, I was reading the book and hip hop songs started rising off the page. And I said to him, really? I said, this is Tupac, this is Biggie. This is a hip hop story. This is my next show. It's called Hamilton, it's about Alexander Hamilton. And it was at the Public Theater. Que uh, you, Tariq, you saw it too, right? Quest, you saw it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. What, uh, how amazing is this play? It's life changing. After the first two songs, you, I looked to my wife and we were like, this might be the greatest thing like we've ever seen, ever. And it, you kind of look around and the other people sitting like, are, are we right? Like, this is the best thing that's right. We're all on the same, but you can't say that because people are acting and performing, but you're almost in tears. We sell out our extensions as quickly as they go on sale and the decision is made pretty quickly. We're going to Broadway. The Tony goes to Hamilton. And the Tony goes to. And the Tony goes to. The Tony goes to. Hamilton. 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 I saw the off of Broadway version of Hamilton, and it was simply, as I tell everybody, the best piece of art in any form that I have ever seen in my life. Alexander Hamilton was a dreamer. I stand on this stage tonight surrounded by dreamers. I don't know what the future holds. I know that our show opened and everyone freaked out. <laughs> That's where we're at. The world